Hey there, guys and gals, all you hep cats, cool kittens, you diesel-powered disciples of cool. It is time once again for Comic Stravaganza Live from the Houdini Room, presented by BDC Entertainment in cooperation with GraphicPolicy.com, Cosplay Collective, The Unlockable Characters, and Comic City Conventions! Yay! I am your host, the King of Swing, the Tower of Power, your time-traveling, comic book-loving, diesel-punk prophet of pop culture, Big Daddy Cool Johnny Delaraca, swinging solid, in one breath. from the Houdini room here at the Casa de Cool. Can you dig that? Can I knew you that dream? you could. <laughs> I knew that you Hey, I got, I got some big lungs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. It's all that fear of training. I can enunciate to the back row of Carnegie Hall. It's true, I can. Carnegie. I've performed at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> it happened. And um, 1996, you can check. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's comic story. Oh, oh my other co-hosts. See, you guys distracted <laughs> oh, yeah. me. You distracted me. Okay. Miss Geek Boutique herself, Darth Lee, Leanna Player. <laughs> and, of course, the cosplay bombshell kitten, Tina Vita! And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the deal, guys. Both of their pages are like hovering right at 300. Mm -hmm. We need you to tell all your friends and family to go like Tina Vita and Darth Lee and like boost them. In our page, before we went live, and someone can check, we were one like from 400. Oh, so I thought we did. Did we? I don't know. I, we were, I thought I seen a notification. notification. Well, <laughs> well, we may have. We may have on Saturday, but Facebook did this funny little thing mm. where they changed the way they count likes on Facebook. No pages. way. Yeah, and so they eliminated deactivated or inactive accounts and profiles or fake profiles. So everybody's page likes went way down. Way to go, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Especially for those people who paid for those likes. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Not really. Not us. I, I mean, I feel See, a little bit sorry about those people. Us. We don't need to be a mafia. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. We are at 400 people. Yay! Awesome, Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Now, here's the deal. If we hit 1,000, not if, when we hit 1,000, <laughs> Tina Vita is oh, going God. to appear... In a bikini on the show just for you. <laughs> so is Johnny. Yes. No, no, no. We gotta, I'll be hiding no, 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 no. We gotta hit 10,000. We 10, got a banana. A, a banana. 10,000. 10,000. 10,000, I'll do it. 10,000. I'll, I'll wear a Wonder Woman bikini. He'll, he'll, we he'll, 10, he'll do it for two. I will Don't do let him lie to you. I will do it. He'll, he'll do it for two. It. All right, upcoming. We got some yes. good news. We got a big show. It's an action packed show. It is. Cool. And we got some big, big stuff happening. Cool. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, all of a sudden I feel like a, an auctioneer or Burt Prentice. This weekend at the Nashville Fairgrounds, no, at uh, Mid-South Con in Memphis, Memphis Hilton, Memphis. Uh -oh. March 20th through the 22nd, the 20th, 21st, and 22nd, just mm -hmm. for those people in Rio Linda, um, Mid-South Con. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be lecturing, paneling, performing. It's gonna be awesome. Are you gonna go with me, Tina? Only I know you're thinking about it. Only if you pick me up after 5:30 or 6 o'clock. <laughs> see that? Now, the balls in your court. Yeah. My see now that, that puts now, us in the Now if she doesn't, if she doesn't go, we it's know the why. Mm -hmm. But you would be a you would be an awesome asset to have I at would. Mid South Con because for the Saturday Night Masquerade, I'm performing my magic. Can I get a perform again? Yeah, and if I have an assistant, we, I can. You can help me with the so razor you blades totally and so. Like, totally, like pick up your assistant uh, at five thirty or six o'clock. Oh, this guy. Tina Vita is going to be at Mid South Con Yay. with Big Daddy Cool this weekend. Oh, so yeah. you come by and see us. And I'll tell you what. Here's just. Because you're going, uh, 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 yep. because you're going, <laughs> we're gonna take we're gonna take some awesome giveaways with us. Yes. Um, Lionsgate Film partnered with us 
for the uh, promotion of their new film, Insurgent. Mm -hmm. um, the sneak preview was Monday night. And did you guys know this? I got an email from them. We did such a good job promoting it that within the hour after we announced the free tickets on our Facebook pages, right. they were gone. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so they said, we're going to be doing a lot more with you guys <laughs> in the future. But we're going to have a, a DVD Blu-ray. We're going to have a bunch of T-shirts with us at MidSouthCon and posters. Yeah. yeah. And if you... If I'll you wear come one up, and make it smell like me. Rub <laughs> <laughs> it all over yourself and give it to you. <laughs> so if you're a stalker, come check that out. Exactly. <laughs> Can I have that one? That's my favorite thing. Sleep with it. I love that so much. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Well, okay, so... If, if She's going to go uh, run on the treadmill for a little while. I'm, I'm going to make say, sure she gets it good. We, we need a... We need, like, pajamas. Yeah. We need, a, we need two passphrases. <laughs> yeah? If, if someone comes up to us and says, Come extravaganza rocks. Oh, yeah. They'll get, they'll get a, a free t-shirt. If they come up to us and they say... Tina Vita is the best co-host ever. Hey. hey. Well, only because she's going to be there. She will take the shirt she's wearing off and hand it to them. Okay. Okay, you got to have hand your money. Yes. Okay. All right. That'll yeah, work. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. work. Yeah. And we'll like give that. away the uh, DVD and Blu-ray as well to some lucky uh, fan. Uh, there, we'll have that uh, for a drawing at our Let's pro see row who's uh, table. Now. Yeah. yeah, we'll see who's watching. Uh, and then the next weekend, MTAC. Yeah, MTAC, <laughs> April third through the fifth. We're gonna be there running the cosmetality suite. And if you're a cosplayer, you can come in. You gotta be in costume. No photographers allowed in the cosmetality suite. But it's a great place for you to come in if you're a cosplayer and rest, recharge, repair, escape, escape, change, Make whatever. New friends. Make yes. new friends. Wait, did you say make out with friends? What? Whatever you want to do. We're going to have sewing machines, tape, glue, paint, hot glue, foam, markers. What kind of foam? That sounds like a party. <laughs> She's a freak. She's a super freak. All right. <clears throat> um, and then April 11th is the Cosplay Collective event at Dandridge Towers yep, here in Nashville. Check out the Facebook page at cosplaycollective.org for all the details on that. And hey, do you know what? I want to give some love what? to our buddies up in Indianapolis, Indie PopCon. That's coming up this, <laughs> this uh, summer. And uh, they reached out and said, hey. And I said, hey, you know what? We're, we're going to help you guys promote it. So uh, Indie PopCon, uh, do we know the dates on that? It's June, isn't it? Someone look that up and, and help me out with that. Are they have to um, Indie PopCon is coming up this sum summer, and uh, we want to give them uh, some love. And then, Awesome Con. Oh, that sounds awesome. May 29th awesome. through the awesome. 31st in <laughs> Washington, D.C. Um, don't know what we're going to do yet. Hey, we should make a road trip. Yeah, we should. Actually, they've sent us media passes. For Awesome Con, and yeah, we're gonna see if we can make that happen. We, that's that's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, right? we could use some Ooh. angel investors. <laughs> angel investors, you know, we could use some donations mm. to help the girls get to Awesome Con. That that's what we really need it for. All right. So uh, anyway, that's what's coming up, and uh, that's what's happening. So that's what's popping. Mm -hmm. We got we got some interesting news this week. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting Yeah, things. and and of course, Paul and Amy are going to cover more of it on the nerdy news. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I just wanted to bring up a couple of things that were, really struck me as odd this week. First of all, did you guys see what the number one comic book, the number one top-selling comic book for February was? No. Nah. It was a book called Orphan Black. Now, I had not even heard of this book. I, I don't recall, I can't recall the cover, I, I hadn't previewed it. All of a sudden on Diamond's top selling books is Orphan Black in, ahead of Darth Vader number one 
And uh, is that, a couple that other times. That list that you sent me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's an, I was looking for the Dark Vader. It's an indie book, and so I go to the comic book shop to check it out because I'm like, okay, top seller. I got to see what this is all about. Yeah. I go to the shop, and and the shop, the guy's like, well, it didn't sell too well here. So I said, oh well, I, I want to pick it up. So we go to the shelf. He sold out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? Well, when did it, how did that happen? So, Orphan Black, I'm looking for it, and uh, if you guys have read it, I, I, you know, that's unusual that an indie book would outsell all of the rest of Marvel and DC's titles. It's just... What is it about? I have it's no a, idea. It's based on a TV show. Fabulous TV show. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've never heard of the TV show. Oh, it's yeah. fabulous. It's, it's freaky. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's really Did awesome. TV shows called fabulous? No, no. TV oh, called oh, fabulous. Oh, <laughs> Okay. How have I missed this? And they're even producing a role playing game based on Orphan. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. I want to do that. Wow, well, okay. I have been. Have, been have, been have you heard of Orphan Black? You don't no. know it. You don't know it. We're it's completely a BBC show. Yeah. out of American. the loop. Well, I don't have cable. <sighs> it's on Netflix. It's well, on, on to TV. more serious things. And, and we do need to cover this. You guys have heard about the Batgirl. Covergate controversy. Yes. I don't, I don't, it up. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't, I don't get why it's such a big deal. Well, it frustrates me. Just as a... I thought the cover looked awesome. Exactly. It's like, why are you making these females so protected? Mm. Say, come on, we can be strong. Mm. Well... I believe in us. <laughs> you know, well, if you guys haven't seen the cover, it's uh, the Joker... Uh, with his for, with the outfit from the Killing Joke, with his arm around Batgirl like this with a pistol, and then uh, painting a smile on her face in blood, and she looks horrified. Give a horrified look. And that's sad. Well, it, it looks it looks like ah! yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Like, like, like bad prom date horrified. And, not, yeah, yeah. Not horrified, horrified. It's like oh, it's a bad creepy prom. horrified. Yeah, like what <laughs> in the world is happening? And and it's and it's a uh, an homage to Alan Moore's The Killing Joke, mm -hmm. a graphic novel that came out what in the nineties, mm -hmm. and basically the Joker shoots Barbara Gordon in the spine and paralyzes her after he's brutalized her and probably raped her, and so. So is that why well, everybody's we, getting upset about, about it? For sure, the book doesn't. Yeah, it, it's just people make. it's yeah. kind of implied, um, and you can infer it. It's not right out there, but people saw this cover by uh, the artist Albuquerque, and and they they knew what it was an homage to, right. and they became very offended because they they feel like the Killing Joke and that cover glorifies rape culture. Well, no. how did how did how did the the book go. I mean, did it sell? Oh, well? the Killing did Joke is was... a legendary book. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's huge seller. Okay. My, my thing is, if if that's what they were actually trying to say, anyways, why can't that kind of person that went through that still be a hero? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Like they can still be strong. They can work through that. They can become even better, stronger, more. And it makes oh, it I more agree. satisfying when she finally exactly. kicks his ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, yeah, so... That's, that's what irritates me about that. So... Like, stop getting so irritated with the fact that it's going back to the Killing Joke. Just appreciate it. Everyone's so sensitive these days. Yeah. They get so offended. <laughs> and so DC, at the request of the artist, pulled the cover. So they are not going to publish it. And now the internet is split in half because half the internet wants the cover pulled, half the internet wants it back. Yeah. And uh, I would go with having it back. Me too. That's, that's just me. Speaking of splitting the internet in half, did you guys hear what I did today? <laughs> it was not intentional, I swear. <laughs> but I've got to stay away from Facebook fan forums and fandom pages. I agree, Johnny. Because... Were you being a troll again? No, 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 no. Again? <laughs> I, 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 you know, no. I came across... <laughs> I came across this panel of Power Girl and Wonder Woman, 
And Power Girl has Wonder Woman's lasso of truth and handing it back to her. Did you see that picture? And, and Wonder Woman uh. says to Power Girl, what are you going to do now? And cover little one's ears. Power Girl says, I'm going to go and masturbate while I think of you. <laughs> she's holding the lasso of truth. Yeah, she's holding the lasso of truth. She has, no, she has no choice but to tell the truth. So it got me thinking, you know. DC has some major characters who are lesbians, <laughs> Batwoman and apparently Power Girl. Um, and, but I was thinking, who in the Marvel Universe is the equivalent? And I was like, really, I couldn't think of anybody. So I, I nominated Monica Rambeau, uh, who is, was Captain Marvel, Photon, Pulsar, now she's Spectrum, uh, and Elsa Bloodstone. I think they would be a cute couple. Um, and, and, and maybe on the bisexual side, She-Hulk... <laughs> Scarlet Witch and Rogue, because well, in in the Uncanny <laughs> Avengers, this is this is. I'm fascinating. trying to imagine She-Hulk as a lesbian. Oh, I no, mean, no, I can no. see She's it. She's totally I... bisexual. Totally, that's been established firmly yeah. in the Marvel universe. Oh yeah, she's. She a definitely girl. wears the pants, right? Yeah, but Scarlet Witch and Rogue are a different well. story because yeah. because Scarlet Witch is the you know a gypsy sorceress mutant. Well, not mutant anymore, inhuman, and Rogue. Now, her mortal enemy, though, has Simon Williams, Scarlet Witch's lover, Wonder Man, trapped inside of her. her <laughs> so, well, so you've got well. this bizarre, kind of erotic thing happening. And, and so anyway, I just asked the question on a fan board about that. And I posed that question. And you would have thought, I shot someone's dog. <laughs> the whole board came to a screeching halt. The replies, hundreds of replies within an hour. The admins had to take the whole thing down and wipe it because off. Because they were, like... Angry, mad. angry really? that I would Why suggest would that? that Marvel would... have some lesbian characters. Hey, and I know, I know. I didn't mean to You're do that. You're just on just... the wrong board. I am just pro-equality. I, I, am, I am pro-equality. I am pro-equality. You know, and... and... So anyway. how can I find this picture, by the way? Oh, oh it's, on, it's, on, it's on our Facebook pages. Um, but so I want to hear from you guys, our fans of Comet Stravaganza Live, what you think about the Scarlet Witch, Rogue, Wonder Man, sort of, kind of triangle happening in Uncanny Avengers. I want to know what you think. So you can actually email us at comicstravaganza at gmail.com. Let us know what you think. Yes. All right. Are you oh, looking for it? While you're looking for it, it's time for new releases. It's new comic day today. Yes. Indie Pop, June 26th to the 28th. Indie Pop Con, June 26th through the 28th. Indianapolis, Indiana. Did you post it in Nerd Nugget? Because I didn't see I it. I did. I did. Yeah. Where's it at? And, and it, nobody commented on Nerd Nugget except for Dang. Deacon SD. Deacon SD. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> okay, we'll All right, you yeah. focus on here. Anyway, yes, she uh, focuses on there. New comics this week. Today is March eighteenth, two thousand fifteen. New comic day. And speaking of lesbian couples, um, Princess <laughs> Leia number two. Not Yay. really. She's just got a gal pal that she's traipsing around the uh, the universe looking for a new planet to replace Alderaan. But you know. There's, there's, I think there's some underlying themes there that you can read it for yourself. Um, really? Issue number one was, yeah, I, I, I think so. I think they're kind of dancing around it because anyway, but you can read it. And if you hate me for saying that, comicstravaganza at gmail.com. Um, or you can, no, I'm not going to give out that email address. It that would be bad. It doesn't have the picture. Oh, it's down in the. There you go. There it, there it is. Okay, here you go, Tina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Switch with you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, so also out this week, um, with a very Ditko style cover, Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number six. Word. And. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I'm reading that. I've not read it, so I don't know. But speaking of Monica Rambo and She-Hulk, they are major characters in the Mighty Avengers. So very nice, show you very nice. show you what I'm talking about. Monica Rambo, where is she? Oh know. gosh, they actually have their faces off. That's bizarre. That's no good at all. If someone rips your face off, 
I think you're having a bad day. <laughs> you think? Aww. There she is. Monica Rambeau looks just like my girlfriend, Halle Berry. <laughs> right there. So, uh, you know, a uh, Halle Berry and uh, She-Hulk Oreo sandwich with Big Daddy Cool as the stuffing. <laughs> 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 It's a weird Oreo. It's the other side of green. Double stuffed Oreo. It's a, it's a fungus seed. <laughs> Black, green, and white. It's, it's like, like somebody's flag. It's like, a, it's like a St. Patrick's Day Oreo. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or, or a ghost of pop in the How did they get on to this? <laughs> because we're talking about lesbian comic book characters. All right. Was Johnny. I just yeah. want to show up. <laughs> Okay. Know what this video is Frankenstein, called. Underground, Mike Mignola, Frankenstein's Monster, 1958, Frankenstein is on the lamb. Do you need to know anything else? Did he crush the really? Man? No, he did not crush the <laughs> lamb, Amy Sulam. <laughs> and finally, Silk, number two. Issue number one was fantastic. If you'll hold that, darling. Are you getting into Max Ride? Yeah, I was already into Max Ride. <coughs> really? This was one of the comics that I covered way back when. Really? Yes. I've never read it. So, very cool. Max Ride, that's coming out in April. April 2015. Yep. Finally, out this week, um, Rocketeer, The Complete Adventures in Paperback. This is the hardcover. That's up your alley, Johnny. Yes, it is. Well, you know... IDW put out the hardcover collected editions. It originally was called Rocketeer Adventures, um, and they put out the, the full collection in hardback. Um, it's since gone out of print, so it's kind of hard to find, but now they are reissuing it today on comic shelves as a uh, paperback. So if you don't have the complete adventures of the Rocketeer, Rawr. you need to get, oh, <laughs> baby. Well. Betty Blake wow. was, was modeled after, most people believe, Betty Page. And wait, wait, the last, the last panel of the last issue in the collected series is phenomenal. Ooh. Yes. That's one of my favorite comic book panels one. ever. She's a red-blooded American, baby. America. Yeah. America. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So, uh, Rocketeer Adventures. We got a couple of honorable mentions. I'm just going to show them real quick. Uh, Lady Rawhide and Lady Zorro, number one. All the cheesecake you can handle, fellas. Um, <laughs> oh, Giant or Robot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oreos. Giant Robot Warrior Maintenance Crew, number one. I couldn't find this at the store today, but basically... Voltron's maintenance crew. Woo. How awesome is that, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to read that. Dope. Steampunk that Tales, dope. number two. Ooh. More cheesecake, fellas and ladies <laughs> of that persuasion. Um, oh, Avengers, hardcover. This is the collected omnibus. Kurt Busick, George Perez, issues one through number 38. Classic Avengers. Great stuff. They, uh, they rescued the franchise from the debacle that was Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee's Heroes Reborn. Almost killed Marvel's franchises. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Red One, number one. Uh, America's top supermodel is actually a Russian spy. Ooh. Ooh. Madam Frankenstein, collected trade paperback. I loved this series when it came out in individual issues. They collected the whole series. And finally, the one-shot Batgirl Endgame on shelves this week. We have made a mess. All right. Uh, so, Leanna, what do you got this week? Well, right now, I am kind of mad at The Walking Dead. Yeah, you and probably half the internet. Hey, I'm not hey, going to hey, say hey. anything, no but I am mad. This time, I am mad. Lady. We haven't seen the last two. Really? It's good. It's well, good. we can't help you. You know what? And it makes really for really really good TV. But I was screaming at the TV the whole time, like no, no, no. And you know, <laughs> Walking Dead is the only show that I yell at the TV at. I don't know why. I we know you don't TV. yell at the TV during Gotham because there's nothing dramatic happening. <laughs> <laughs> there, well, this week 
was a rerun episode, so nothing <laughs> happened this it, week anyway. It's going to be anyway. a rerun until April something. Actually. April something. Uh, they they posted on their site the t- no two one weeks ago. Cares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I care. I care. Oh, there was a there was an extensive article today about how Batman fans hate Gotham. Really? Yeah. I well, kind of I'm not a Batman fan, so I just I like the show. What, what the, uh, what don't they, like about they don't like it because it's so obvious. Oh, yeah. It's a Batman show without Batman, but it's so obvious yeah, about Batman. So. Well, I mean, it's a prequel. You know what's gonna happen. You know? Yeah, but what, what's but the it, fun Here's the thing: is like you, you want the the mystery is how it happens. You know, I I like that. You know, we know that the Joker. Who the Joker is and who the Penguin is and Riddler. the Riddler and, and I, all that. I like really we know who those characters are going to be, but it's like how did they become that way? And like I said before, it's pulled in new fans who have never. Yeah, you get to actually focus on the important characters rather than who who's that guy? Right. And then, all of a sudden, you guys sound about Gotham the way that I sound talking about the Star Wars prequels. Yeah. All of a sudden, I understand. Why people would like Gotham. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I okay. still don't like it, but I get it. Cool. Whatever. The riddles. Anyway. <laughs> I think Walking Dead only has like maybe two more episodes left. Okay. Yep, two. And then yeah. it's done? Forever? Gone? No. no. Can I hope? No, because they are going to be starting a spinoff soon, which they said that that spinoff it's is going to start. Spin-off. It's not, well, that's what they're saying. Hey, get, get well, back. Not a spinoff, but I guess in another area. Oh, okay. Yeah, in LA, it's going to be a prequel to the zombie apocalypse, and it's going to build up to the zombie it's apocalypse. It's just a different section of the world. Right, which I was talking with my girlfriend about it yesterday <clears throat> over some about Irish about car bombs, <laughs> <laughs> which were delicious. Um, but she's like, oh, well, I hope that they, they, like, do, they cross up. And I'm just like, I don't see how with them being in L.A. and them being in Georgia. The only thing I can figure it would have something to do with the, the CDC. I don't know. But I just hope they don't because then that kind of ruin it for me. Anyway. There you go. There we go. Did you wa- Have you been watching The Flash? Did I you have see not. The Flash? I didn't catch up on The Flash. I did not see it either. But apparently major revelations, total, oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, let me see. What if he oh my? It's Betty Blake in The Rocketeer. Yeah, yeah. The Rocketeer really pushed some envelopes. Yeah, well, it looks like it. Um, Anyway, The Flash. Big, big reveals. Speaking of big reveals, you didn't show that. That was a big reveal right there. Um, This is a kid's show, sir. What is a kid? This is not a kid's show. This is our show. Which means we and talk about kids. whatever. Then why? Then why? Then up on the comic extravaganza page and be like, if you look like this. Yeah. Call me. <laughs> Call Amy? Is that yeah. what you said? For a good time. Sing Amy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so any, uh, Tina, any yeah. game yeah. news? Anything new happening in the world of gaming? Nothing? Absolutely? I, I focused on those two articles. Yeah? Just like you asked. And focus on that. So one one of the articles I sent was about the Supreme Court hearing the case right. about the web shooters. Yeah. What 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 was your uh, what is your so, opinion about that? So where in the fine the, did the contract actually say for ever? I know that in perpetuity it, is I means that forever. Means. Yes, big in word. Perpetuity. Yep. Johnny uh, B's showing off his vocabulary. <laughs> well, because, you know, I auditioned for America's Got Talent. <laughs> and that phrase is all throughout oh, that contract. Wow. Like, I understand Perfect. if TV. they told them, but... Just... <sighs> so, the fact that it's the toy maker, it's just like, okay, why are you still wanting... And this is a 50-year-old case. It was a 50 or 40-year-old Guy who designed in uh, 2010, they stopped paying royalties. Okay, the royalty. So the guy who designed the the toy web shooters. When we were a kid, Mark, you remember you could get those web shooters that shot the dart and had the string on them. You don't remember this? I know it. You know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you wear it on your wrist and the Spider-Man web shooters. It worked like twice and then broke. Um, but the guy who designed it is suing Marvel because Marvel still 
owns it, but they stopped paying royalties on it. And I, are they still making it? Not the in the original not design. Not the same way. Not but, but the idea the is still being manufactured. And so he he's not gotten any royalties since 2010. He invented something else. And and now he's taking <gasps> them to court, and the Supreme Court is going to hear the case in the next couple of weeks. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think he should uh, get his big payday, or is he just... Uh, With me, it's more of like, all right, so you invented something halfway. It's not really being produced anymore. Why are you still expecting money in when it's not your design anymore? Yeah, like they... they because I'm getting out. sick of eating Alpo for like, dinner. Do something else. Invent <laughs> something else, B. Me too. Use your noggin. Yeah. Do something. Yeah. yeah. Stop just waiting for royalty. catch hell over that comment. I'll go into right. detail. Uh, All right. Good. So Paul's going to talk more about it. All right. Oh, uh, we got a special guest with us tonight. Straight oh, you're the from Clark's guest? Unknown, oh, okay. <laughs> the head cheese of Comic City Conventions, Mr. Mark Ballard! Yay! Yay! Come up here, Mark. I didn't know I was a special guest. Yeah, you're. Oh, you're always you're special, special, baby. To us. You're, you're, you're like football helmet. Wait. kind of special. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's going on? He's got the helmet hair going. That's true. always. <laughs> talk, talk to the camera, though. Talk to the audience. I just came in because I have a guest we signed up for the July 11th show. July 11th. And it's for all the gaming fans, all the oh, RPG woo. fans. Woo! And it is. Robert J. Schwab, who worked on Dungeons and Dragons, or for Dragon Magazine, nice. and is now doing his own game called The Shadow of the Demon Lord. Ooh, and okay. he'll be out there all day talking about that and demoing stuff and nice. telling you all so about that. So he play with the game? I don't know if he'll have the actual set yet out or not. I've not talked to him okay. about that, but he did say he's going to bring some stuff out. And I mean, he's worked for Wizards of the Coast. He's worked for Warhammer nice. and everything. So if you know his name, you'll know what he did. There's so, a ton of books his name's in, so. So so we got Schwab and we got Missy Vaughn. Missy Vaughn. Everybody's talking about Pee Wee being on Netflix. Right oh now. yeah, is he? Netflix has signed a deal with Pee Wee Harmon to do a new Pee Wee movie yeah. on Netflix. I need to Snapchat so, your, your Pee Wee Harmon impression before we leave. Hey Missy Vaughn! <clears throat> Miss Yvonne will be at the show July 11th. So Yeah, so nice. my daughter Actually, Olivia, say hi real fast. Hey Olivia. Hi. Okay, now go sit down. <laughs> so, July 11th at the Nashville Fairgrounds. At the Pacific Fairgrounds at the Sports Arena. Uh, July 11th, 10 to 5. She'll be there. Lana will be there. A whole bunch of walkers from The Walking Dead. Comic artists. One big day extravaganza. So, it's it's awesome. We're going to be there. They'll be there. And uh, you can find out more at comiccitytn.com. So, uh, Bye. thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Mark Ballard. Yeah, we're going to give a shout out to... Uh, Jennifer Tory and Adeline that was supposed to be here tonight yeah, we were could supposed not make it because they were in a car accident. Ooh. Literally, their car flipped over on the highway. On the way here. Thankfully, they're okay. They are unharmed, but obviously, they are not going to make it here. No, no. So your spot is saved for next week if you want to come. Now, and we hope everybody's okay. Yeah, yeah. Prayers go out to you guys. Um, all right, before we leave and turn it over to Paul and Amy for the news, do you, do you have something else? You've got that longing look in your eyes. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Tina, you have to be this tall to stand in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't be seen through well, the thing. All right, we, we've got a giveaway to do. So at... at um, where were we? Franklin Comic and Toy Show. We did a giveaway. Entries for giveaway. Um, I'm going to hand this to you, Tina Vita. Here's what we're giving away. The best example of what was awful about the 90s. This guy. The and he's going to give it to you. Extinction <laughs> agenda. Well, you know what? I, I'll tell you what. There is a, a market out there that loved this... Horrible '90s X-Men stuff, um, and and they signed up to win it. So we're gonna draw it, and um, 
You know, it's funny, he's at sign up for anything. He's like, hey, you want to win a contest? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So, so stay tuned, agenda. Up, so. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Leanna, we've mixed up the uh, the entries thoroughly in the box. I, I want you to reach in there and draw one. Like that. There we go. Yeah, that. How you doing? See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so our winner is Megan, and you didn't write down your last name, but we have your email address. So, so congratulations, Megan. Megan. We're gonna email you, and you win the Extinction Agenda. Congratulations. And uh, we're giving away stuff like this all the time. Yeah. We're going to give away insurgent stuff at Mid South Con. We got another drawing coming up soon for uh, Batman: Death in the Family, and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. You got to check our Facebook page for more. And that's it for us tonight. We want to remind you to uh, visit our sponsors, Comic Bento. Oh. Click the link in our show notes. You can get a mystery box of comics in your mailbox every month for under twenty bucks. Uh, guaranteed at least 50 bucks. What, you, you look like you want to say something else. What do you want to say? I'm just thinking, don't worry about me. <laughs> it's a music video that's playing right now. A music video? Huh? huh? I'm completely out of the loop. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we also want to thank graphicpolicy.com for distributing Comic Stravaganza Live. They're awesome. Check them out. And of course, BDC Entertainment Network. Check out the other entertainment options at BigDaddyCoolShows.com. Well, guys, that's it for this week. Any last words? Hasta la vista, baby. baby. <laughs> swing hard, swing off, and we'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>